Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Derby Spend Road to Glory. And today, another day, another level, naturally. Level 36 today, though, it's a big one. It's the final Ascension Board of the season. It's waiting down here. It's waiting to be redeemed. Is there a Sydney Moncrief waiting behind here? I hope so. We've got a pretty good record of the uh, grand prizes. Four out of six so far. Can we make that 5 out of 7? I sure do hope so. If we can't get him, just hopefully we get something that's actually worth some type of value. Today we had the brand new Rewind Super Packs with a Dark Matter Anthony Edwards in. Sadiq Bay, Pink Diamond Jackson Hayes and Diamond Jaden McDaniels. Now I did try and buy a Dark Matter Anthony Edwards, which already had 54 Hall of Fame badges. Because I was about to send that boy to the goddamn moon. Um, it had 54 and I could add 7 more to it. So I could have taken Anthony Edwards up to 61 Hoth badges. I put my max bid at 350k. I got outbid. It is what it is. So that one sadly got away from us. I can take a standard one from 47 to 55, but I don't really think that's going to do too much for us in terms of profit. So I think the Hall of Fame badges are going anywhere for the time being. I guess we just have to wait and see for the next big card to come out. We've done the weekly challenge. We've got a rewind pack to open up here. And we've also got a radioactive pack out of the vault. And we've sold a few bits and bobs just to get some more MT into the club. And I also bought a pair of Kobe's for Anthony Edwards, which I then didn't even need. So I guess for whatever player we get next, we do have a pair of defensive Kobe's ready and waiting. So let's get into it. But before that, if you are looking to pick up any of our merch, cross up clothing, you've got just today and tomorrow. Last few days to get it. It is my birthday tomorrow. And the code is still live on the site, which you can check in the description down below. And the code is BDAY20. 20% 20 off. If you get anything, like a lot of you guys already have, which is crazy, by the way. Thank you so much for the support on all that. Make sure you send me a picture because I would love to see. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Kieran, Jacob, Trevor, and Kieran. So how the hell have I made 16,000 XP today? I started the day on 76,000 XP. I've got 91,000 right now, and I haven't bought a single player. It's ridiculous how easy XP is. It's just about finding the right challenges. So I, I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what I've done. I've just gone through so many different challenges, picked out like one or two that actually work and that I can do. Uh, we did Colin Sexton for 500. We did Killian Hayes for 650. We did Draymond Green for 800. I think I already had Steph done. Um, we did a couple of the first ones. We hadn't done any challenges for the Knicks or the Suns. We did those. Uh, we did Jarm Ramp for 750. Jonas Valanciunas for 300. Bam Adebayo for 200. Duncan Robinson for 300. Little things like that. It all adds up. We did Drew Holiday as well, and Chris Middleton as well, I believe. It all adds up pretty damn quickly. Uh, RJ Barrett as well, 750 XP right there. Uh, Marco Fultz, 400. Dwight Howard, 300. It's 16,000 XP, and I didn't go into a single full game. All in triple threat offline, of which we are now over 1,300 wins. Now, in those 53 wins so far this season... The only thing out of the vault has been one radioactive pack. That's it. No Diamond Seals pack. No, obviously, Larry King. That'd be great if we did. And one pack out of 53 games. That's pretty poor. But, of course, it has been brilliant for XP. Uh, absolutely fan damn -tastic. The new weekly challenge came out. All you need to do for that is just a 50-point triple of the game. Five dunks. So, a lot easier than last week, which was three steals. Um, and you get a rewind pack for winning. So... I didn't manage to buy myself an Anthony Edwards, but can we get one out of a pack? I certainly wouldn't mind it. We get Luka Doncic out of the pack, right there, which I don't already have, so I guess I'll take that. I think we sold him when he had his last batch of challenges. And then a future Rewind Award pack. This is a 16,000 MT pack right here. And there's absolutely nothing to show for it, and that is no surprise at all. Um, I did already open one up, so... That's the equivalent of 32,000 MT wasted. Um, and I do mean wasted for absolutely cool. So, yeah, not great. Uh, these are the cards in the pack. So we've got Zion, John Morant, JT, Thon, Ben Simmons is out here, KPJ, the brand new Anthony Edwards. And then uh, Galaxy Opals, you've got notable ones being Lonzo Ball, Giannis, uh, Sadiq Bey, the new one, Luca still with value, Pink Diamonds, Miles Bridges probably still got some value, Ball Ball with value, but that's about it. Uh, and then you've got the... The diamond cards with the brand new Jaden McDaniels in it. 
so your pack's not really too much to say about that. Now, there has been some talk about these packs and the fact that they end on Monday and whether or not content's going to move to Monday. Um, that's not going to happen. 2K are never going to do that. Um, I think it's pretty funny that that's even being discussed. So, no, guys. There will be packs on Friday, obviously. Uh, they just won't have invincible cards in. The only reason these cards are going to... or these packs are going to stay here until Monday... It's just so Tuka can have two packs going into the weekend, but make sure that one set of packs has got invincible players in them. Because like I said this Friday is probably going to be like an idol set or a retro set or a flash set, a, a set that's not like unbelievable uh, or like a new set, uh, and then it won't have any invincible cards in. And that's just how that's going to go. So yeah, Friday will be normal content. I will be absolutely astounded if it is not. Sold a few diamond con uh, diamond shoes, sold pink diamond Scotty Pippins, diamond Boonhauser, uh, gold Anthony Edwards, I think. Just get a little bit more MT into club. We're up to 1.5 million MT right now, and that's not too bad. And like I said, we did try and buy Anthony Edwards, who right now is selling for about 200,000 MT. There's one there with 52 Hoff badges, but I don't think I can add too many. Like the one I was looking at, like I said, had 54, and I could add 7. So I could have taken it to 61. So I can add Dimer, Rebound Chaser... Uh, rim protector, defensive leader, and steady shooter. So we're going to add 5 to that. So again, I can only take it to, to 57, which I guess isn't bad. But do I think it's going to be enough? I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. I think you need to be hitting that 60 mark right now. And Anthony Edwards, isn't gonna, he's a 6'5", small forward shooting guard. Doesn't have the best release in the world. You know, I don't think he's really that meta card that a lot of people are going to be going for. So... It might actually be a blessing in disguise that we didn't manage to win him uh, from that. So we're coming into, you know, this Friday's content with still all of these off badges and 1.5 mil. Now, last night, I did leave you guys with the decision of, you know, is it worth it to pick up some of these cards? The answer is most definitely no. Um, look, oh, my God, there's literally six kgs and oh, there's quite a few Timmy's at six kgs. My goodness. There was a 66 off badge Tim Duncan shop of 1.6. 66 half badge and it's off of 1.6, that was it. Pretty much standard ones are selling for about the same price. There's nothing to be made there. As for KG, there's one with 64 there, but it's very hard to say. And then Kobe's just stupid at 4 million MT. It's just ridiculous. No one's got 4 million MT. What a joke. Right, essential board time, everybody. Let's do it. For the final time of Season 7, 20 picks so far this season. Out of all the essential balls, we've got a diamond coach, which was Mike Budenhauser, so 10,000 MT. That's it. Oh, mystery pack four. Okay, that's all right. Is that all right? I guess that's all right. Um, that, that's literally all we've got. So 10,000 MT from all of the essential balls so far this season. Can we please get out of this board? Don't do this to me. Just, just allow it, allow it, allow it, allow it. Please don't do this to me. Why now? Why do they make these essential balls the way that they are? Boy, if you don't... I've got six to 17 picks to go. Six, oh, great, okay. How? How? Look at that! There's two picks left. That looks pathetic. <sighs> Middle board with 17 stressful picks to go. All right, so you've, you've tortured me on that first board, 2K. Let me out of here fast. A gold series three player pick. I'm actually not mad at that. That could have some value. Plus one again. Oh my God, just, just let me out of here. The fun begins on the final board. Let me get to the final board, please, with 10 picks to go at least. Plus one, okay. We don't have more than 10. We're struggling. Mystery two. All right, so we've got two free packs to open up. We know we could get opals out of those. Oh, my God, this is bad. We've got 13 picks to go. Oh, boy. I don't want 500 MT. And I, f and I found it. We're not getting out of here. Oh no. We're getting out of here. There we go. Be sad and 2k rewards you. So, 11 picks to go. We've got two packs so far. 11 picks on the final Essential board of the season. Are we walking out of here with a Dark Matter card or is it going to be a huge bust on the entirety of the Essential boards this whole season? I hope it's not going to be. So, 11 picks to go. One foul. We're on a streak so far of three seasons in a row. So, we didn't get the... Now, we did get the grand prize in Season 1. We didn't get it in Season 2 or Season 3, but we did get it in Season 4, 5, and 6. So we've already three-peated. Can we go for four in a row? I'm not very confident 
about it. Plus two, not mad at that. I'm definitely not feeling all that confident. Plus three, okay. I've got 13 picks. I, I'm, I'm liking that start. That's that's a very nice. Plus five from two picks. <sighs> oh, and a foul. You guys know what my usual pattern is? You just like make a diagonal or make like a face in the middle. I don't know if I'm feeling that. I'll be... Oh, oh God, I really should have been feeling it, shouldn't I? I shouldn't change. Don't be another foul. Thank you. Three fouls. We're halfway to fouling out of this game. Great. Uh, oh, a Warped Reality Deluxe Pack. All right, all right, all right. It's Sunlight. It's not huge. Sunlight. That's a plus one. So we've still got eight picks to go. Still with eight picks to go. We double that so we get 600 MT. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's okay. One token. That's, that's definitely not okay. 250 MT. Oh, it's not looking good now. So we've got three packs so far, everybody. Ah, oh, dear. And we've got four packs to go. Where the hell is this stupid ass dark mana? Moncrief, where you at, bro? Now, where are you at? Let's go here. 1,000 MT. I mean, to be fair, not bad. Another foul. That's four fouls. Oh, my God. We've got two picks to go. Oh, I guess we're just going to knock out these corners. Oh. Oh, it took ages to load. I thought it might be loading in a dark matter. Alas, no. Final pick, the dream. Who'd have thought? Man. That was sad. Um, how many picks did we get through there? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 picks on the final board. And no dark matter grand prize. So, yeah, we strike out, everybody. We strike out as a GG. 4 of 7 on the essential boards this year so far. No shake out of the mystery 2-pack. If you want to save the... Save the shake for the dark matter in the award, uh, in the award pack, in the walked reality pack. That'd be great. Save me a Ben Simmons. That'd be great. Mystery eight. No shake out of here either. No surprise there. A couple of discards. Is what it is. All of our hopes now land on a warped reality deluxe pack. I had great luck in these packs. You guys know we might have pulled a certain dark matter Ben Simmons out of these. It was out of a deluxe pack. Well, not out of this one though. Well, that sucks. All right, level 36 Ascension board in the damn bin. So what have we got left to look forward to this season from the levels? Uh, about 25k from level 37 with that diamond contract, 25 tokens, meh, another Hoff badge, and then obviously Vince Carter, but man, that sucks. Could have been a free Dark Matter card, but it wasn't to be. Right, let's quickly touch upon the new cards that came out today in this new set. Uh, where the hell is... Uh, what's his face? He's down here, isn't he? So, we're going to start with Jaden McDaniels, who is one of the best diamond cards in the game right now. 27 Hoff badges. Danny Ferry's only got 33. Rudy Russo's only got 31. Anton James has got 16. Like, this is a really, really good card. He's 6'9", 92 driving layup, 90 driving dunk, great shooting, really good passing. Well-rounded defense, obviously nowhere on the level of Danny Ferry, because Danny Ferry is elite. Um, and then good speed as well. For a diamond, 10,000 MT card, ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. Next up, we go to Jackson Hayes, and this card isn't looking as smart. Um, 80 mid-range and 79 for the three ball. It's been quite a while. Mark Eaton is the first card that I've got that's got worse in mid-range and three. Um, so yeah, it's just an inside centre really, and we've got plenty of those, there's not really too much to say about that card. Uh, for the Opal, it is Sadiq Bey. He's not extinct, why does the Auction House do that? He's not extinct, he's right here. Uh, and again, a decent card, 6-7 power forward, small forward, so not the most uh, sizable player, but 92 driving layup, 92 driving dunk, it's a well-rounded card. Not really excellent to anything, but a very, very nice, well-rounded card with 37 Hoff badges. And then as for the Anthony, Day Anthony Edwards card, sorry. Uh, like I said, I, I did try. I was going to work some magic. We saw it happen yesterday with selling that Kobe with uh, 54 Hall of Fame badges. We see what badges can do if you do take it to a stupid number. And a 61 Hoff badge, Anthony Edwards, is a stupid number. So... I tried, it didn't happen, it is what it is, uh, we'll hold our Hall of Fame badges for another day, but the actual card itself is very, very nice indeed. He's basically a KPJ or a JR uh, that can't play point guard, um, and he doesn't have Hofsteady, which is nice, 
no rebounding, but incredible speed uh, and incredible driving and in very, well, incredible shooting as well. So a very nice card. So pretty good day in 2K. Tomorrow we might get new diamond cards and a new exchange. Obviously last week we got Alex English down here somewhere. We got Alex English last week with Emmanuel Moudier and Diamond Gary Harris on the triple on land boards who are still there. So are we going to get another one tomorrow? Are we going to get something in trouble offline? I have no idea, but we will find out. And of course, tomorrow is my birthday, so make sure you come through to the Twitch stream, because it's my birthday, and I'm going to be wearing my birthday hat, which I love. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have better luck on the level 36 essential board than I did, because mine was doo-doo. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.